Good evening and welcome to the news tonight. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has held frank conversations with the DUP on the Northern Ireland Protocol during a visit to the region, but Sinn Féin refused to take part in a day out for unionism. The PM was joined by First Minister and DUP leader Arlene Foster and Health Minister Robin Swan as he toured a mass vaccination centre in Kofermana on Friday. The controversial knee protocol remains a hot topic, with unionists angered by extra checks on goods passing through its ports from the rest of the UK following Brexit. Mrs. Foster says she urged Mr. Johnson to stand up for Northern Ireland and ditch the intolerable protocol governing Irish sea trade, adding that he was alive to the issues. Not a single unionist party in Northern Ireland supports this unworkable protocol. First Minister Arlene Foster Rather than protect the Belfast Agreement and its successor agreements, the protocol has created societal division and economic harm, Mrs. Foster said. Whilst grace periods have been extended unilaterally, we need a permanent solution, so business can plan and the integrity of the United Kingdom internal market can be restored. The DUP leader also told the Prime Minister that a local school in Fermanagh was unable to order trees from England due to red tape surrounding the transport of soil. Another news. Thorwell and Dean have suffered an almighty fall in rehearsals for this weekend's Dancing on Ice final. While fans have seen the skating legends do their thing on their rink on numerous occasions during the new series, all of their performances were recorded at the end of last year, after the skaters formed a working bubble. But, as finalists Faye Brooks, Colin Jackson and Sonny Jai bid for the 2021 crown in this weekend's Dancing on Ice finale. Millions of viewers will get to see the Olympic champions actually skating live. However, appearing on Thursday's Good Morning Britain, Christopher Dean revealed to hosts Ben Shepherd and Kate Garraway that preparations hadn't been going too smoothly and he'd been left battered and bruised. That's it the late news, we're back tomorrow at 2 o'clock, until then, thanks for watching, have a great weekend, and good night.